Aloha, I'm Kianika Yab Yab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Hawaii today set a new single-day record for coronavirus infections. Health officials reported 4,789 new COVID-19 infections statewide today, breaking a previous record of 3,484 set one week ago. Hawaii has seen 130,856 cases since the start of the pandemic. Four virus-related deaths were reported today, bringing total fatalities to 1,098. All four deaths were on Oahu and no other details were immediately available. State health officials reported 3,245 new cases on Oahu, 508 on Hawaii Island, 676 on Maui, 213 on Kauai, 41 on Molokai, 17 on Lanai, and 89 residents diagnosed outside the state. Of all the confirmed Hawaii infection cases, 5,321 have required hospitalizations, with eight new hospitalizations reported today. There are 3,161 new active infections today, and so far 32,768 cases are considered to be active. The Omicron surge is taking its toll on Hawaii's public schools. Teacher absences caused by the virus are causing disruptions at schools across the state. About 800 teachers called out sick statewide on Wednesday, according to Hawaii Department of Education Interim Superintendent Keith Hayashi. Another 800 teachers were out for other reasons. The 1,600 vacancies represent more than 12% of the state's 12,000 teacher workforce. There has not been enough substitute teachers to cover the absences, with about 400 substitute requests going unfilled on Wednesday. Osa Tui Jr., head of the Hawaii State Teachers Association, said members are reporting that counselors, security guards, and other staff are being called on to fill in. Teachers are also raising concerns over the safety of faculty and students. Despite the uptick in absences, DOE officials say another round of temporary school closures and a shift to distance learning is a last resort. The State House plans to consider legislation that would allow lawmakers to restrict the governor's ability to issue future emergency proclamations. The issue is not necessarily the governor's power to issue emergency proclamations. House Speaker Scott Psyche told the Star Advertiser Spotlight Hawaii on Wednesday. Psyche said the problem is the length of time that those orders are in effect. Some proclamations related to Hawaii's COVID-19 response have been extended for nearly two years. Certain long-running orders became confusing or conflicted with subsequent orders issued by the county, Psyche said. A new House proposal would allow the legislature to vote down a future proclamation when an order has gone on too long. A similar bill to curtail the governor's emergency powers was introduced last year, but failed to make it through the legislative process. A 53-year-old woman is in critical condition after her car crashed into a parked SUV in East Honolulu Tuesday. Police said the woman was trying to exit a driveway on Halekoa Drive in her Ford van, but had difficulties releasing its parking brakes. As she got out of the vehicle, she managed to release its brakes, causing the van to move. Police said the woman held onto the van as it hit a parked BMW SUV. She was taken to a hospital in critical condition. Chick-fil-A on Wednesday announced the locations of four Hawaii restaurants slated to open this year or early next year. One Maui location is planned to open in the middle of this year, while three Oahu locations will follow in late 2022 or early 2023. The Chick-fil-A on Maui will open in the Pu'unene Shopping Center in Kahului. On Oahu, the restaurant chain will open at Ala Moana Center, another near the Honolulu Museum of Art, and a third location in Kapolei. Chick-fil-A officials say each new restaurant is expected to create about 80 to 120 jobs. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.
Are you ready to score big? Make sure to check out the Honolulu Star Advertisers Football Fever every Monday through Wednesday for your official ballot to play and enter for a chance to win $500 weekly or the chance to win the grand prize, a Big Green Egg Kamado Grill. Match or beat the score and you qualify to win. Don't forget to drop off your entry at select Long's Drugs locations. Good luck! Special thanks to sponsors Long's Drugs, Hawaiian Telecom, and Mercedes-Benz of Honolulu.